Oi, and welcome back to the Evil West Let's Play. Very evil, as you can see. Nothing but evil creatures around me and... Right, Turkey? What the hell is that? Can I? No, I cannot. Merp, 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 merp. Oh, that's the shotgun. I can shoot my guns in here. And fist the walls. They have a lot of dried turkey in the evil west. Actually, not the worst really meat. You brought Bloom back in one piece. They're waiting for you in her lab. Yeah, how glad. But they together. Seem like they. Bang. Okay. Nice hidden entrance. In the last episode, they revealed that our father is probably Good gonna turn. Back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Rentier, sir. Verge is working. A silence before a storm, for sure. You think we should be ready for some fireworks? Yes, we should. They revealed that our father is. Where the hell did I put it? Get out! Get out! Oh. Holy moly, it's you. But I mean, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Jesse. I... Just seeing how things are going. They're going, but they'll go even better if people stop interrupting me. Uh, no offense, Mr. Jesse, but I need some quiet time to concentrate if I'm going to get this done. Then shut up, shut up and concentrate. Our father's turning into a vampire. And I feel like that's Troy Baker's voice again. Didn't check on that though. Let's do the same thing and downgrade here. Let's see what's going up here. Maybe they hidden some more money. Hey, who are you? Breed of monsters. Shit. The old ones were scary enough. <sighs> well, let's hope that uh, gauntlet of yours can help turn the tide. If we can get it running. That's Troy Pick, all right. More of a D motion than a pro motion. You must have been a real pain in the ass. Promotion letter. Okay. So she's not gonna be a good guy. Girl, a good girl. That's the vibes I'm getting from here. Do you have a moment, sir? It's a tragedy the Debano's head was taken. We lost so much knowledge. God, imagine what we could have learned. Six centuries of knowledge would have been an amazing contribution to the Institute's database. Stop rubbing your ass. I feel like it's all the same voice actor for every NPC so far that I've faced in here. Which wouldn't be that much of a surprise. Man. I'll take that. Oh, with the Rentiers and that Harrow guy here, is Dr. Blackwell still calling the shots? I'm sure the government visited the manor often, but Mr. Harrow's not an agent, and I don't think he knows what he's doing. Harrow's operating out of fear. The manor security services were decimated, and Calico doesn't even have that level of defense. Not that it did the manor any damn good. Money? There's some more money here. Money, money. That thing. That we're That's probably gonna. Me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Ugh. Okay. Ah, uh, lost my train of thought again. That's a cool cowboy hat. Oh, more black and more red. That's uh, what wanted. Okay, money here. They're here. Money. No, no money. Okay. Hello, doctor. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. We're phasing into here. Well, just had to happen. That's how love works. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Ah, oh, oh, I finally got it. Oh. oh, I 
I knew, I knew I could do it. Yes, yes, good, good, good. Oh, developers are gonna hate me for that. Oh, that's it. Oh, and you? No, just to, we just can get into her with straight off the wall. Until recently, the Sanguisuge reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow but effective process. But now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. But they're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is De Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. <sighs> Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. <laughs> Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is! Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts! Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Um... In the Antarctic, apparently. Are those northern lights? That town will be here. about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. No guide. Oh. They. 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 Ah, oh, now I have to decide if I want the glitched face as a thumbnail or. The goddamn Northern Lights. Aurelia Borealis. That's the word, right? They... Like that's a big checkpoint. And I have no clue how long this part is already. It's probably not that long. Recording says 9 minutes, so it's probably 20 minutes. But... But I don't know. Something is glitched. Sir, did you already find it? Yes. Was in your heart all along. Who? Where the hell are we? That's not the Wild West, right? 
Americans don't have those sort of mountains. And here we have the glitchy background. Okay. Um, I guess one more fight and then I'm. That's some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. One fight and then I'm calling it quits here. Gonna go work out and progress. I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them. That's an ugly handwriting, my man. Ugly. And I see a fighting spot. That's the fight I'm looking for. Ah, oh, my recording timer is not quite working. That's gonna get out the creeps. Hate it. Okay, mine got charged in there. God damn you. Let's pull them back. Maybe that's. Oh, we got those freaks. One got charge, one got pull. Let's shoot some bullets into them. Bam, I they're full. And we just improved the looks. I've missed out on some money. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. Is it? That's a leash, right? Crippling rod. It even has a cross on it. Okay, it's like a super ball thing. Let me enlighten you, folks. What's the thing? Need you down here. I don't know if I use that that often. There's something else here that shoots. Yep, there you are. Come down here. And enjoy some TNT. Ooh. Oh boy. That's what I wanted. Eyes are falling. Oh. Mm. 
I'm tired, that's what I'm trying to say. Playing too much. Okay. Um How about some light? And now it works. Oh. I'm guessing this is where I need to go for the next checkpoint. 1890 Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Okay, when you say so. See. Oh, that's a checkpoint, right? Game. Okay. Play mission close. Or do I leave the game? Quest. The raid. The first spark. Um. Door game. Back to main menu. Oh, god damn it! Three minutes. Ah, just to give me a warning. A medallion. Artwork looks Indian. What is that a picture of? Your mother. Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's got to be another way down. Just a Push. little more. Push, my man. Maybe I get a checkpoint downstairs. Um, that must be right, right. Heavy. All right now. Just move. Oh shit! I could have gone up here. Oh, maybe I get it anyways. Okay. Almost there. Gotta get to that other switch. God, oh, I've just wasted time. I Maybe I got a checkpoint. Maybe. No, I hope it just. I hope it doesn't save chapter by chapter. One minute. No, damn it. Where the hell was that checkpoint then? Oh no, I gotta push it back. More. <clears throat> I'm checkpoint hunting now. Yeah, I need to go work out too, man. Oh, it's legs today. Like work out tight. Money. More money. And more money. I'll take that. Money, money, money. And uh, money again, probably. Road clear. Oh, boost. Is that a checkpoint? No. Checkpoint, right? Now we're good to go. Are we? Let's see. No. And done. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well. 
Hey, yes. And we're done.